All right, so in today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce the e-collar properly, which means we're gonna test it on each other. Because the number one issue with the e-collar is the improper timing and improper communication and not looking for signs. So before we introduce it to our friend Max, the Akita, we're gonna introduce it to ourselves and it's gonna be a complete session with Joey and I learning how to communicate through the e-collar. So let's get started, it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so I'm gonna put this, we're both gonna do this. This is, I think, the right way to introduce an e-collar to your dog is to introduce it to yourself first. I've done this before. Um, when I'm gonna introduce it to Joe, although Joe's done some work with another dog, with Coda, with the e-collar, Max is a little bit more sensitive, so I wanna show how the sensitivity can play out. Let's put this on Joe, so we're gonna put this here. The reason I'm putting it on Joey first is because he hasn't felt it, so I want him to know what it feels like before he puts it on me. I have felt it, so I can easily know what I'm doing to him, and I know the difference between a one and a two and a three or an 18. So it's never my job to make this aversive. It's my job to make this uh, productive, to get him to respond, to come to the reward. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna check out on Joe and let Joe check out. And when he does, I'm gonna send him a little communication. Now there, he's just very slowly responding. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna let him kind of do it again. And I'm gonna see a difference in his reaction. There we go, good job, and that's it, right? So I went from a one to a two because the one made him kind of go, oh, I think I feel something to the two going, there's something going on. Now here's the important part. Watch what I do when Joe checks out and I want him back. I turn on and I turn off, okay? So the pressure is on until he gives me what I want and it immediately turns off. Now the important part here is gonna be following that with a reward so he knows what I want. So again, we're gonna check out I'm not gonna do anything for a minute. Hey, Joe, what's going on, man? Good to see you, right? And then he's gonna ignore me. Good. Right? That's contact that can be a pet to your dog, it can be a yes, it can be a mark, it can be anything you want, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a verbal to it. So I'm gonna walk along and you're gonna see a verbal and a physical correction. So watch here, we're walking and he's gonna do his own thing. So he can go on his own, he can do whatever he wants. And when he does, and I kinda of wanna go this way, hey, good boy, good job. Right? And at any point he might see that tennis ball over there. Hey, good, yes, that's a good one, good. Right? So I want you to mark a verbal to that's kind of what I'm looking for. Now he's with me, no pressure. There's no need for the e-collar right now. But I want to, up. Oh, there is an e-collar there. Good. And that was a long press, right? A long, constant hold. And that's the difference between momentary stimulation and consistent stimulation or constant stimulation. If I use the momentary button on the e-collar, all it's doing is this. So let's do that for a second. This is continuous. I'm going to go to momentary and let's watch his response and see if it's different. Nothing. There. See how confusing it was? I pushed it. I held it. I got no response out of him. Let's do it again. I'm going to hold it up when he's not facing me so you can see when I have it on. Now I'm going to go to constant. And there you go. So that constant pressure gives him an on off sign. And that's what you want your dog to see. This is on, you're doing the incorrect behavior, and by doing the correct behavior, pressure comes off. There's no shocking here, by the way. Did you feel shocked at any time? No. No? No, just a tickle. Like a tickle, okay. It's like a, a TENS unit, yeah. right? And remember, these collars have come a long way over the years, so now I'm just gonna communicate with you. Joey, here. Good. Sit. Good, right? Here. Good, now disobey. Here, no, good, 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 sit, good, no, sit, right, pressure, no, good, sit, good, 
Heel. Good. All right, good, no pressure. Heel, good. Now there I put pressure on the heel because I want to pull him in. Generally, you're going to put the pressure on the no, but on the pressure on the heel, heel, no, good. So the minute I see it, good. Now he understands the conditioning phase. Heel, no, good. Sit, good. No, pressure, sit, good. And that's really it. That's the simple idea to that. Okay, so we worked a little bit with Joey on the e-collar. In this session, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find Max's levels and just introduce him to the e-collar. And I wanna do this in a positive way. I want the e-collar to be a way for the dog to understand clearly being with me and obedient is a good thing. Being away from being naughty and not paying attention is a bad thing. And just like Joey and I found our levels, we're gonna start at number one to find Max's levels. Okay, and I'm already here, and we're just looking for a response. That was a tiny response. Okay, see if he's looking on the ground, he's already seeing that something different. Now that's still a level two. He's kind of investigating. I'm gonna to go to a three. Keep a nice loose leash. Max, yeah, good boy. So what I wanna do is give him a direction to go while I have the collar. Now I'm gonna put the collar away so he doesn't see it. Max, yeah, good boy. So I'm on a three, but he's not really doing anything. I'm not bumping him on the max, I'm bumping him for not looking. So I'm gonna to go to a four. Hey Max, good, no bump. Good. So I'm gonna let him kind of check out a little bit. Yeah, good boy. That was me bumping. Three bumps. Very slight bumps on four. Max is closer to my level than yours. <laughs> good. So all I'm having you do is loose leash holding that. Right? Max, two bumps on a four, okay? I'm going to go to a five just because I want to get a little faster response from him. Max. One tiny bump that probably didn't even, he probably never got to it. So now let me take the line and I'm going to try to hold, have a gentle hold on the line. And I'm going to do the same thing. Hey, no correction. Good, that was one bump on a five. Good. Max, sit. Good. Yes, good boy. Right. So I'm gonna go through a little obedience routine with him on this, so I can give him a correction. I'm gonna take it from a five down back to a three or a four. Probably a four will be his working level with this box. Right. So here we go. Max, come. Good boy, sit. Yeah, what a good boy, good boy. Come on, let's go. Good boy, easy. Max, good. Sit, down. Yeah, good boy, what a good boy. What a good boy, what a good boy, yeah. Good, that a boy.